Welcome to Salt Springs. Um, this is a unique place in Pennsylvania, as far as I know. Um, this uh, park has uh, a long history of uh, being supported by the people who live in this county. Uh, this place was the Wheaton Farm going way back into the uh, 1800s. Over time, we developed a we formed a nonprofit corporation called the Friends of Salt Springs Incorporated. And uh, we eventually, with a lot of uh, negotiation, um, developed a contract with the state. We have a lot of beautiful amenities here, very unique things. One is the creek that we're standing in right now, Fall Brook, a glacial creek which runs down from the mountains and has three beautiful waterfalls, which are a great place to cool off on a hot summer day like today. Another unique feature here is the hemlock grove, the old growth hemlock grove at Salt Springs Park, which contains some 300 year old hemlock trees that were not logged during the great logging boom of the 19th century. These giants tower over the park above this gorge here, and we have a boardwalk which goes through them, which enables almost any visitor to enjoy them in, at their convenience. Another beautiful feature here is the Salt Spring, which is originally what the park was named for, obviously. Uh, it was used by the Native Americans as a source of salt, also by the early settlers in the area. And one of the features we have for guests here are campsites. We have a dozen uh, campsites which are nestled along Silver Creek. They're beautifully rustic. Um, we also have bathhouses to go with that. We don't have any amenities, uh, no hookups, but it's a great place to go tent camping. In Salt Springs Park, there are about 15 miles of hiking trails, uh, all different terrains and levels of difficulty. One of them goes up the creek that we're standing in right now, the Fall Brook. Others wind through the fields, the overgrown fields that used to be used for farming and through the hemlock grove at the top of the hill. Um, some are very steep and some are much more suitable for casual hiking. The Friends of Salt Springs Park has four part-time employees, one of whom is our educational coordinator. We run a series of programs, an average of one every two weeks during throughout the year. We do various things like um, look at the stars, talk about the various animals and plants that we have in the park. The Friends of Salt Springs Park operate a park as big as Central Park in Manhattan with four part-time employees. We're able to do that because of the support of the community. Um, individuals, businesses, other nonprofits um, have all come together to make this place operate free and open to the public. We need more help though. There's a lot to do here. We have, um, uh, uh, it's a constant struggle to keep the buildings up, the trails maintained, the lawns mowed, the, the campgrounds, um, uh, uh, pleasant places for families to sit. So um, help is always appreciated. Salt Springs Park um, seems to attract visitors from all over the area, both Northeast Pennsylvania, New Southern New York State, and also all over the state of Pennsylvania. People really appreciate the unique, quiet, low-key atmosphere we have in the park here. Um, not too many activities. There's no swimming pool, for example. There are no softball fields, no tennis courts. It's a great place to just come and enjoy nature as it is. Salt Springs Park is really easy to get to. Um, we're north on Route 81. If you get off at exit 23, 223, 
for Montrose. Just follow the signs into Montrose and turn right on Route 29 north. We're about five miles north of the town of Montrose. You can also find more information at visitparks.com.